All right, there you go. Schumer back at it again, this time with more schmoo and uh, lots of cows and <laughs> got this one a backup stop me. Uh, this one's right around just shy of 400 gigabytes. And um, the first thing you might notice is this custom theme. And what's cool about it is he actually has like Nintendo here, right? His NES, Super NES, N64. Um, usually these are alphabetical orders by, by system. And so he kind of reordered them. So for example, these are all the Sega systems in order of how they go. Now you might be saying, oh, you're missing some systems here. Like for Nintendo, like where's uh, Famicom and things like that. And that's because he, it's, this isn't a everything image. This is a best of the best image. Now this is his fourth or fifth image that, you know, I've even reviewed and who knows how many images he's actually made. But um, you might be wondering, well, what's different about this one, Drew Talks? Why should we care? And, um, you know, I just want to reiterate what I've said in last reviews that if you want a two play based image, two play makes a really interesting base image because it has all these extra scripts and things installed into it, making it easier to, you know, overclock, set up your network, um, play background music's already done, a bunch of intros, custom themes, things like that. But you might be like, well, I could have gotten that on the old version. And that's absolutely true. But the new one does have even more games and even more optimization. Uh, he claims on his video that 99.9% .9 of the games are working. Um, so that's cool. And then he's added this retro movies. It's basically just Cody, but uh, it has some custom themes installed. And if you look here on the bottom right, in a moment, it's gonna go ahead and share with you his IMDB list where you can go online and see retro uh, videos. And he's, uh, I checked it out. It's got things like Friday the 13th, you know, like the Goonies, like really good 70s and 80s cult classic type movies. So there's the link right there if you wanna check it out. Other than that, um, my Xbox 360 controller, when I booted this up, wasn't really working on start. Uh, it will. Re I had to hook up a keyboard for my controller. I have Xbox 360 controller, and I just had to rebind my controls. But other than that, it runs really well. And if you connect yourself to the network, you can find movies on your network. It does not come pre-loaded with movies, though. So please know that. So all games, this thing has 6,641 games. So let's do our normal thing here of going through the different categories, and then we'll play some games, and then I'll share with you my final thoughts. <laughs> I'm editing it I did find out I have a short two second delay from my capture card that's just the capture card the image itself runs perfectly so here we are you have the configuration first things first arcade classics an arcade set with over 1200 games nothing crazy here no, you're not gonna see anything here that you don't see anywhere else but you do have those video snaps no pictures just go straight to video snaps you get the pictures on the bottom there with this theme Speaking of themes, I didn't really check out the themes yet on this particular image. Let's go ahead and see what we have. Okay, so pretty much his own little custom theme here. And he gives credit to, um, you know, Dwayne Hurst. So I imagine he helped with the theme a little bit and some other YouTube creators. So it's looking really cool. And like I said, I like that the organization of this image. I like that a lot. Um, moving along, uh, a Thomas Wave 20 games. And I am running overclocked right now, so this is definitely gonna improve a Thomas Wave a lot. It does not come pre-overclocked. If you wanna overclock, you just go over here to uh, System Tools, Overclock Control Panel, and you can see there's different overclock settings. I'm running this on the Raspberry Pi 4. You can absolutely run this on the Raspberry Pi 400. Uh, I'm running it on two gigahertz. Um, but, um, you know, I think in stock, it's like 17.5 or something. It's, it's nothing crazy. And so I uh, just wanted to let you all know that that that's how it's running there. Naomi got 27 games. And as you see there here, all the metadata's here. Video snaps are here. Everything's looking pretty good. 140 is pretty standard on Neo Geo. Neo Geo CD40, there's pretty much there's most of them there. Atari 2600, though, only 47 games. So that's just kind of the best of the best. I don't know how ET made this list. Maybe a game that you want to troll your friends with. Uh, look at the star rating on that one. One star. Uh, we got NES over here. We got 338. Quite a bit, you know, considering there was like a thousand games or so. And uh, it doesn't seem like there's any hacks on here. It's primarily, um, oh, there might be some hacks. Um, it's primarily main games, but, um, you know, a lot of the, of the really popular ones. And then SNES. Um, oh, it looks like there's some Super Famicom in here as well. So SNES slash Super Famicom. 
kind of included there. Uh, Nintendo 64, you got 38 games. Let's see these games. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing got the Japanese artwork there on the bottom. Um, all these games I can tell you so far run really well, especially on an overclocked Raspberry Pi 4. Um, a lot of people ask me which gigahertz to get or which RAM to get, I'm sorry, 2, 4, or 8. And uh, two is plenty for emulation. Four is, is good. Eight is if you're, you know, going to be doing some. If you're going to be messing with like the desktop or doing some little more. Uh, so Sega Master to two fifty nine. If you're going to be doing a little bit more with your Pi, not necessarily necessary though. If you're just playing retro games. Sega Genesis five eighty two, and I bet we'll have some uh, other releases as well. Some European games or some Japanese games. Um, but the best of the best there, 582, Sega CD, 24. And again, you got some Japanese games there as well. All right. I don't think I've ever played this version of the Jurassic Park game. Does not look anything like <laughs> the previous ones. All right. Uh, 32X, 36, pretty much almost all of them. 106 Dreamcast games. Okay, so here's where a lot of that space is. And in my opinion, the Raspberry Pi 4 plays this stuff so well. Uh, wow, Crisis Remastered is on here. Does it play Crisis? Yes. Um, so let's just go through this game list really quick. And uh, nice set. Nice Dreamcast set. Definitely some more fun, interesting games on here that you don't see everywhere else. But a lot that you do see a lot. Tony Hawk 1 and 2. Go Tony Hawk. Going to the Olympics this year. That's pretty cool. TurboGrafx 16, 94. PlayStation. Wow, 325. Now, remember, there's about 1,000 PlayStation games. So let's just go through this list really quick. But um, there's a lot of great games for this console. So uh, looks like this is where a lot of his favorites are. A lot of RPGs I've noticed throughout this whole checking out all these systems. Almost all the Mega Mans. All the Mortal Kombat's. A lot of the Need for Speed franchise. And we're going to get to collections here in a little bit. If you want to organize your system a little differently. So a lot of racing and a lot of uh, sports and a lot of um, RPGs, I've noticed. And then quite a bit of fighters as well. PSP, we've got 43. And these are PSP. These aren't PSP minis, it looks like. So this is really where a lot of the space, there's got to be at least, you know, 35 gigabytes right here. PSP minis, just Pac-Man Champion Edition. Uh, Game & Watch, 50. Game Boy, Okay, so that was game. So there was Nintendo consoles, and then now we're in the portables section. So if you're wondering like how this is organized, looks like we're on portables now. 77 Game Boy games. We got 152 Game Boy Color, 376 Game Boy Advance, and there's like 1,200 Game Boy Advance games. So this is really just kind of the best of the best there. Game Gear 275, that's a lot of them. Neo Geo Pocket Color 40. Uh, Amiga 1500, wow. I don't know if he had this big of an Amiga set in the past, but... Um, here we go. Large Amiga set here. Oh, I jumped around a little bit there. Alien Breed. MS-DOS, what do you got? Might and Magic, nice. Might and Magic 4. I always like the heroes of Might and Magic. Relentless. Star Wars TIE Fighter, X-Wing, and Under a Killing Moon. Scumby M, you got 57. Blade Runner, Indiana Jones. Might and Magic, Open Boar 146. It's a lot. Okay, Steam Link. You know, a lot of a lot of talk right now with Steam coming out with a new portable. So Steam Link, why not just have it built into your Raspberry Pi? You can stream things from your PC straight here, especially on a LAN connection. It'll run it just fine. So here you go. If you notice in the upper right hand corner here, we now have collections. You got your Alien games. You got your baseball games, basketball games, Bomberman type games. Many, many, many different games. I actually really like this artwork, though. Do you guys see this artwork where you've got the background and then you've got the front? I have to commend him on the artwork here. This is really pretty. 
I don't know if I missed this on the last one or I'm just enjoying it this time, but um, really cool. Family game night, what's in here? Kind of interesting, what's in family game night? Okay, cool. And uh, you should be able to see a video snap here. Nice. You got your fighters, 357, Final Fantasy games, football games, F-Zero games, golf, light gun. Okay, let's see what you got. He's coming to the game on the light gun. Okay, bang. All right, these are pretty standard. Death Crimson, though. A lot of people don't include that. Uh, all the NES, okay, Dragon Gun. I'm gonna have to see that game. Oh yeah, that's not a bunch of them. Gun Buster. Yep. Yeah, these are uh, pretty standard. Steel Gunner 1 and 2. Okay. No Zombie Raid. Um, so missing quite a few, but some fun ones on here, especially for the Thomas Wave and uh, Dreamcast. Those are nice to have. Okay, so um, I don't think the Sindon Light Gun is installed, the, the software, so you'd probably have to install that. Let's see what kind of non-carding games we have that are not... Uh, okay, yeah, ATB Racers is a fun one. Banjo Pilot, Battle Cars. Biker Mice from Mars isn't on here. Would that be... I guess those are motorcycles, not carts. Hot Wheels, Cart Games, Grip Shift, PSP, Hot Wheels, Burning Rubber. Gotta love Hot Wheels. All right, let's play some games while I share my final thoughts on this image. Um, ooh, look at that, full screen. Um, I did watch his entire video of he showcased this image and um, one of the, the comments he said to people were like, how come your volume is different like when you load different systems okay so this is going to be stretched out just so you know some people might not like this you might have to change the res Ready. looks like mario font i took the mario font from uh, mario Kart. i can't really borrow that font Tunes racing. It's fun. Let's play, do something that's not racing. We got Kirby. Let's see what we got in the Mario world. Woo! Mario. Let's do some NES Mario. The classic. Ooh, I like that boot up screen. That's pretty nice. So, like I said, custom uh, launch uh, or, or or what do you call those? Intro videos and um, splash screens, both in the when you start the system up. But also when you uh... oh went the wrong way. Hey, a lot of you are gonna be like, "Why is it widescreen?" You can absolutely change it back. So you can um, easily go into here and just change that stuff. Uh, video layout. No. Settings. Video. Output. No. Scaling. Aspect ratio. 4 3. Oh, okay. Main menu. Quick menu. Restart. All right. There you go. See, it's easier on the 4-3, am I right? All right, so as you look at these last few collections, they are beautiful. Man, good job on these collections. I'm really digging that. Like, That looks really pretty. It's a work of art. Oh, and he even has, looks like his own best of the best games here, what he recommends playing. So that's always fun, too, about these images. I almost feel like they're worth getting just for this right here. Is to, especially if you're new or, you know, you missed a lot of these games or the era or whatever. It's cool to see people's, like, favorite 
games. It's like, you know, just like why he probably wanted to add these movies onto this image, you know, is to share with you some of his, you know, some of his fond memories or some videos that meant, you know, a lot to them at the time. Um, maybe they were, or maybe they just, you know, put, you know, distracted you during the time. And that was a good time. So whatever it might be in that nostalgic bubble, um, it, it, it's pretty cool. So, um, I'm just going to go through here, but, uh, as far as grade, I'll give this one like a B plus. I, I mean, I like it. it. It's not my go-to for the 400 gig, 500 gigabyte. I do like that. He's improving on this. You know, I agree with what he said in his image. You know, it takes a lot of guts to put your image out there to the public. So props to him for that. And, um, you know, if you have the older version, you might not need to upgrade. Some of these upgrades might not be for you, but you know, hey, here's the latest and greatest. If you're curious, it might save you a download or make you want to download. Hope this video helped you out just a little bit in that regard. Um, but um, you know, nothing crazy. A lot of this stuff you can change yourself, whether it be the aspect ratio or that you want to change the intro uh, videos, uh, depending on what kind of base image you want to put your Pi image on. Um, but I have to say, it's all here. Like, it's a good image, ready to boot. File system automatically uh, expands, uh, works perfectly on your first boot, asks for your controls. All the controls are working really well. So with all, like, kind of the little easy, you know, is it working? Is it is it plug and play? Absolutely. So good stuff there. Anyways, that's what I think. Let me know you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, wow, these collections never end. And by the way, you can hit start here and uh, game collection settings. You can turn off up to 60. There's 66 of them. You can just uncheck as many as you want here. Um, but that is quite a bit. And here we are back at Hal. And uh, good morning, Dave. All right. Well, that's it for me. Hope you all have a great rest of whatever the day it is when you're watching this. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.